Right, uh, folks, I welcome you to this discussion I want us to have. Uh, we are talking about, uh, we are discussing functional forms. We looked at the, um, the log log model, we looked at um, the same log model, um, and I want to continue with the semi log model. Um, in this case, our dependent variable is logged, but we are regressing that variable on the trend, that is on the time variable. Uh, I think when we last met on Wednesday, the one group and Thursday, the other group, um, I last spoke about this semi-log model in which the dependent variable was in logs. So today what I want us to do is to <clears throat> to use this coronavirus deaths database that I just found while I was doing some other things. So these are world deaths for corona. Maybe we can use these ones. Let's try to sketch the graph <coughs> for this particular. Um, so let's, let's call this world coronavirus deaths, okay? Uh, so that you know what we are talking about. Let's sketch this graph and see what's going on. That's a lot of people have already died because of this pandemic. Um, if we sketch that graph, it looks like this. Quite different from the Chinese one. The Chinese one, I sketched it the other time. It looked different. We can um, put the dates here. From, that's from 17 February to 15 March. That's as far as the data goes. And so that's our graph. Here it is. You can see an exponential increase. Um, let me put this chart in a different world graph. Okay. I will have it here. This is the Chinese one. You see? So you see the same trend if you look at both. The rise sharply, the difference is that for China, there is a sharp increase, then there's a declining rate, almost like what you see with your production function. Do you see that? An initial increase at an increasing rate, then increasing at a decreasing rate. That is, the efforts for containing corona are, are improving. So let's work with the world graph. <clears throat> so now, uh, having done that, what we want to do is to create, um, let me add some, a couple of columns here, is to create log, I'll just write in short, and world corona deaths, okay? And then I will have my time variable here, which I shall call trend, okay? So it shall be one, two, all the way. Um, all the way, let me ask this thing to reproduce that. This is log, the natural log of that number, close that. Uh, let us also reproduce that. Maybe we can also sketch the log one just to see how it looks like once you have transformed it into the log form. Um, how does it look like? See, do you see how it looks like? So it rises, then it tapers off, essentially. All right. Perfect. So let me take this off. I don't need it here. Uh, the entire graph must go. Okay, I want to regress this variable on that. That is, we want to regress lean world corona deaths equal to now B0 plus B1 trend okay plus error term that's what we want to do this is in logs this is not 
All right, so then we are going to use our usual routine in Excel. Let's find the regression routine. Okay, let's pick our dependent variable, which is this one. And then let us pick our explanatory variable, which is time. I can start from here going up. It will rearrange them later. All right, top row is labels. Okay, this is what we get. Let me take off all this part here just to to make our output cleaner, and we can reduce this to three decimal places, perhaps or two. Let's let's make them three. Let's also make these uh, three decimal places. <laughs> right, you can clearly see that um, this, this coefficient is very significant. Um, if you were to increase the number of decimal places, you see that it's significant at... <laughs> Uh, the fraction of a mini, 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 mini percent, okay? So that means it's, a, it's very, 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 very significant, okay? Let me, so let me take off the, the additional zeros I have there. All right, and the model is also very significant. You can see that. And the trend is positive, obviously, indicating that the deaths have been rising as the graph showed. Now, what we are interested in doing here is to interpret. So, what we have found is lean world corona deaths is equal to, and we have 3.999 plus a 0 0.099 um, trend. That's, that's what we found. This, this is a yet, of course, because it's the, it's the predicted value. Now, what you see, if your dependent variable is in logs, then to interpret this coefficient, we have to multiply it by 10, by 100, I mean, to make it a percent. So you are saying, um, <clears throat> if, oh, look what I'm saying, over the entire monthly, period, which is 17 February to 15 March 2020. Corona virus deaths, that is coronavirus induced deaths. That's the correct statement. Coronavirus deaths increased at a daily rate of you multiply this coefficient by 100 so that's 9.9 percent .9 okay so over this entire monthly period your coronavirus deaths increased at a daily rate of 9.9 .9 percent now this is called in econometric language, this is called instantaneous, wow, English, instantaneous, instantaneous growth rate. That it, it is growth rate at a point in time. So this is telling us the growth rate of the deaths in a day. Okay, that's the daily rate. But if I want to know the rate of growth of corona deaths over the four-week period, roughly it's four weeks from 17 February to 15 March, then I need to compute what is called the compound rate. Okay, the compound rate. Now, how do you get the compound rate? This compound rate is calculated as your exponential. So it is your 
exp that is your e what you call your 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 e that is two point something your e which is the antilog so in other words it is saying take the antilog so it is e of beta of b1 minus 1 and then you multiply that by 100 to make it a percent now what is happening here is b1 is this thing we estimated there so using your calculator what you want to do is to say equal to the exponent i pick the function then i pick the coefficient there the slope coefficient then i less one then i will have to multiply that by 100 i get this so let me make it a percent now i've multiplied by 100 now um <clears throat> so to, to three decimal places that's 10.393 percent you see that it's slightly larger than the instantaneous growth rate so you can also say over the four so you are saying over the entire period of four weeks the compound growth rate of corona world corona virus deaths was 10.393 percent okay so essentially that's 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 the idea here um so 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 every time your dependent is in logs this coefficient must be multiplied by a hundred then you interpret it as a percent remember that these estimates take the units of measurement of this a change in the log is a relative change but once you multiply it by 100 it becomes a percent now you can do the same instead of us having log here we can just take it as it is okay so th so that now we just want to say world well, corona deaths equal to b0 equal to b0 plus b1 uh, trend plus error okay so what what has changed is now we don't have logs there and we want to see what we get if we do that <coughs> now what is going to change is just the dependent variable it is going to have logs it, it is it is not going to have logs now then we say okay and we can take off this part just um, for to make the output a little bit neater um let's let's change this to about three decimal places <clears throat> all right so this is what we have now how do you interpret such an output so what we have here is uh, world corona deaths is equal to now that's minus 796.79 which obviously doesn't make sense does it 96.52 trend okay oh my goodness there you go okay let me put that and see what happened so Okay, it is reading this thing. Oh, it's because I started with a minus there. That's crazy. Okay, there is going to be a constant there. And then plus 96.52 trend. Okay. So there will be that constant, which is negative plus that. So Excel is reading what I'm entering as a formula. And so it is saying the formula is an error. So we now want to interpret this coefficient. So what he's saying is over 
the entire daily period which we know is from 17 Feb to 15 March the world corona deaths increased by an absolute rate of 96.5 or you can round off to the nearest one number 97 deaths per day okay so in other words this one is it's or if you like you can say an absolute daily rate we can put daily here and then we, we remove the day this end okay so you are saying uh, every day about 97 people died because of this corona virus essentially that's the idea okay so so but that's that's about interpreting the trend if we don't have logs then this this coefficient is measuring the actual the average number of deaths is uh, pay, pay every day okay pay every day in the entire symbol okay all right that's perfect so i will stop here and um look at other things later